In this lesson, we're going to learn how to properly import a screenplay into Gorilla. Now you'll remember in the previous lesson, we learned how to properly prepare a screenplay and export it to the .sex file format. Assuming you did this, we're going to now pop on over into Gorilla and create our project. In order to create your project, you go to the File pull-down menu and select Create Project. Go ahead and type a name for your project. I'm going to type in the name of the screenplay and click OK. Now notice it asks you for some schedule options. Now before I select an option, I want to point out on the top left-hand side of the screen, this is where the project was created. Now we can have multiple projects in Gorilla and each project can have multiple schedules. And that's going to be more clear after we import the screenplay. So let's go ahead and click this first option, Import Screenplay. The next thing it's going to ask you is to create a schedule name. Now you can type in the same name as the screenplay, but I'm going to be a little bit more specific and type in the name of the screenplay and then the name schedule after that. Go ahead and click OK. And the next thing it's going to ask you is to import that .sex file that we created in Lesson 1. Once again, you need to export the .sex file from either Final Draft, Final Draft Tagger, or Will You Magic Screenwriter. I'm going to click on the Import Now button and find that .sex file. What Gorilla is going to do now is it's going to take that .sex file and convert all the scenes into breakdown sheets so we can schedule them. Let's take a quick moment here to see exactly what happened. First of all, notice that we are in the scheduling breakdown screen. We were in the scheduling manager screen when we first launched Gorilla and that's where we create, save, and load projects and schedules. After we imported the screenplay, Gorilla automatically took us to the breakdown sheet screen because it assumes after we import the screenplay we want to work with our breakdown sheets. So let's take a look quickly at what we have here. Over here on the left hand side of the screen we have our IE or interior exterior field. We have our set field which came in also and our DN or day night field. And remember that this was the day and night field that we were explaining in lesson one on how to properly format that so that it'll import nicely into Gorilla. Notice also that we have our page count field which came in. Now if we open up Final Draft real quick or, or Movie Bash Screen or whatever we used just to compare what came in if we highlight here scene one notice exterior Beverly Hills California day that came in nicely and the page count, if we highlight the scene, we'll recall it is about two-eighths of a page. Notice again, that came in very nice. I'm going to close that just for a second here, and let's continue to navigate through the breakdown sheet screen. Now on the left-hand side of the screen, here we have a list of all our categories. Now when you create a schedule, by default it creates 21 categories, and these are the same categories that Gorilla creates over and over again. You can modify these categories if you want, and we're going to learn that in another lesson. But these are the same categories that are created in Final Draft Tagger and in Movie Magic Screenwriter. Now in the middle window, this is going to show you the related elements for the highlighted category, in this instance, cast members. So here we have our three cast members that were imported from our screenplay. If we select a different category, for example, props, notice that the middle window changes and we are now looking at a list of all the props that are available in our schedule. On the right hand side of the screen, where it says scheduled elements for scene and then the scene number followed, it will show us the scheduled elements just for the scene that we are on. And if you remember, in Final Draft Tagger, we did tag in scene one the gleaming Mercedes as a vehicle, and we also created the special equipment crane camera uh, element in Final Draft Hagger, which also came in. On the right-hand side of the screen here, let me move the toolbar 
out of the way. This is where you can navigate to different scenes in your schedule. We happen to be on scene one. If we select scene three, for example, we're going to see that everything, uh, some of the things change on the screen, some of the things don't. But what does change, of course, is the interior exterior field. We're in a different scene, the set and the DN field. Now we're in the apartment scene and the page count field changes, but also the scheduled elements for the scene change. Notice this doesn't change because we did not select a different category. And this, of course, doesn't change because that's still the same list of props for our entire schedule. Once again, if we select a different scene, scene eight, for example, nothing is attached to this scene. And that's because in the screenplay, there was no dialogue. And also in Tagger, we did not tag anything for scene eight. Let's go ahead and select one more scene here that has some stuff on it. Scene 12, scene 11. These are scenes that have only dialogue because we can see characters here, cast members, but no elements. Now that you've imported your screenplay, you can tag more elements that were not tagged in Final Draft Tagger and in Movie Magic Screenwriter, and I'm going to explain that in the next lesson. That's a wrap. See you in the next lesson.